trusted with such a weapon. The blockbuster movie Oppenheimer focuses on the work of American theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer and the development of the atomic bomb. Preparing for the film, director Christopher Nolan reportedly did some heavy research into quantum physics, which is the study of matter and energy at the most fundamental level, according to the California Institute of Technology, and aims to uncover the properties and behaviors of the very building blocks of nature. Quantum computing is, at its core, a new framework and a new way to do computations and perform algorithms. Classical computers run on bits. And they can process information by translating everything into uh, zeros and ones. And it runs on the laws governed by classical physics. Quantum computers run on quantum physics. And instead of having um, binary bits, they have bits that can be put into superpositions of states, which means they're a little bit zero and a little bit one at the same time. Which means a quantum computer has the potential to be exponentially faster and better able to solve problems that could never be solved by a classical computer. Lane says quantum mechanics has already revolutionized technology in many ways, from the solid state hard drives in our phones and laptops to lasers and GPS. This emerging technology can also be used to improve medicine, help with climate change, and in the development of faster ships, boats, and airplanes that can travel longer distances, she says. In the meantime, scientists at IBM and other tech companies are also working to build safeguards within their systems to protect against possible future cyber attacks and other potential national security threats by quantum computer hackers. Julie Tabo, VOA News.